After a series of accusations, counter accusations, and denial amongst the alleged players in the Maina Gates, comprising the head of service of the Federation, Mrs. Winifred Oyoita, head of Federal Civil Service Commission, Mr. Oluremi Akonde, Minister of Interior, Abdurrahman Dambazo, and the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Interior, Abubakar Magaji, has come out to take responsibility for Maina's reinstatement. Somebody has been reinstated based on recommendation of the Office of the Head of Service. The constitutional body that is mandated by the Constitution to only appoint, discipline, and promote issued a letter to whoever they want to issue to release to that person. To me, to the Commission, they have already reinstated. The AGF Abu Bakr Malami insisted that the letter he wrote was still work in progress. Also, the Controller General of the Immigration claimed that Maina's passport has been blocked by the immigration to stop any renewal. On the part of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the acting chairman Ibrahim Magu said the commission has no record of any monies or assets being recovered by Maina as claimed. It does not, in essence, mean that I was in agreement with the letter 100%. Because of the reservations I had for the letter, that was the reason why I did not sign up on it. And now the idea to allow me time to revisit the situation and take appropriate steps. As a moment, he has a valid Nigerian passport, which will expire 2018, and a valid U.S. passport, which will expire 2022. We have stop listed him. We have blocked his Nigerian passport, which means he cannot reissue that passport anywhere in our branches in Nigeria or abroad, and he cannot pass through our organized border. That's the situation. In a never, never handed over anything to the EOCC. After further questions by members of the committee, the Permanent Secretary Interior Ministry apologized for the role the ministry played in the whole affair. After so many years of Minas dismissal, was there a letter, was there a complaint that your office got that led to this? If so, can we get a copy of that letter? And again, I'll go back to this letter because I find it very, very difficult. Because maybe for the general public, they don't know. But for some of us here that are lawyers, you are one of the most powerful people in this country. I'm here to take responsibility. Whatever Intero has done wrongly in accordance with the, the way administrative matter has been taken to the end of this matter. Because I cannot reject it. I'm the permanent secretary, head of admins. Meanwhile, the head of service of the Federation, Winifred Oyoita, said as long as Maina was not served the reinstatement letter, he was never reinstated. I am confirming here, Honorable Chairman, sir, that Mr. Maina has not been reinstated into the civil service. So far as the, never, the letter of reinstatement was never endorsed and delivered to him, the letter will now, when the sitting gives approval, be returned officially back to the Civil Service Commission. However, the Ministry of Finance has denied the insinuation that Maina is still receiving salaries. Charity Tonko, ITV News, Abuja.